ladies and gentlemen. This is a 2002 front cover of Sports Illustration magazine. And Charles Barkley, as you can see, standing there in chains. Now, I got another picture that I'm going to show you where you can even see his feet are shackled around his ankles are shackled. So it is coming out that Charles Barkley. Now, you remember when Kyrie Irving got suspended the day before Charles Barkley was on the air talking about the NBA dropped the ball, Kyrie was wrong for what he did, and he needs to be suspended. Well, it is now coming out that Charles Barkley called Adam Silver, the NBA commissioner, and told him to suspend Kyrie Irving. Now, we already knew Charles was a raccoon. He is turning out to be way bigger. He's turning out to be a record-breaking raccoon. And this picture of him looking like a slave, this was a prerequisite of what was to come back in 2002. So, yeah, so now a lot of people are in an uproar because they said Charles went too far. Now, why would you do that? Why would you do that? You know, do you do that with everybody in the NBA that does something wrong? You run to the commissioner? You know, Charles is like that little tattletale that, you know, once we find out when we're children who's the big tattletale, we stop dealing with them, right? That's Charles. But it's unbelievable what he did, how he went above and beyond. It was bad enough you said that mess on the air, but you went behind the scenes to call the NBA commissioner to tell him to suspend Kyrie? Wow. Man, you got some kind of self-hate in you to take things that far. Now, that is some real self-hate. And then he tried to imply that when things happen in the Black community, you know, we're not supposed to just care about ourselves. Well, other people just care about themselves. I, I didn't come, you know, in this world with a manual that said, if something happens, I got to care about everybody. But that's what he's trying to imply. Wow. So here is the full body of that photo where he was on the front cover of Sports Illustration. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know a black man alive that would allow himself to be photographed like this. So Sports Illustration, this is what they came up with as an idea. And he went right along with it. You see him all shackled up, but I guess we're supposed to see it some kind of way because the chains are broken. Trust me. When you see what he did to Kyrie, those chains are intact. Okay, they're not broken at all. I don't think they can break on Charles Barkley. His mind is definitely still chained up. So Sports Illustration got it wrong. But I just find it... I, I, just, I can't believe he did that. I can't believe he did that. I mean, no matter what you felt about Kyrie... To take it so far that you would call the commissioner and then the very next day he is suspended and have to do these six steps in order to come back and play. And then you and Shaq had the audacity to get on a show talking about, well, how long he going to be suspended? Well, it's not clear and all that. Well, you were the one responsible for that, Charles. 
No, I think that was guilt. That's why you and Shaq were talking like that. That mess was guilt. And I don't know what Shaq had his mouth wide open for. He got a movie theater here in New Jersey, and it was playing there. So I don't even know why he had his mouth open at all. Come on now. These two are real clowned out. Charles is a slave. He's a real slave. And he will always be one. Mr. Adam, sir, you need to suspend Kyrie's. He's bad slave. You need to suspend him. He's a bad slave. He's not good slave like me. See, Massa, I'm going to come and tell you everything. I'm going to tell you which slave the whips and which slave is good. Mm, mm, mm. No, this is worse than Stephen. I thought the Stephen character was bad. No, nah, I think Charles got Stephen beat in real life. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all remember the great Bill Russell? Well, Bill Russell gave Charles Barkley the finger on live TV. And yes, Charles was there and saw it and played it. He did it on live TV back in 2018 during an NBA celebration they were having. It was like an award. And he was interviewing and Bill Russell gave Charles Barkley that finger. He don't realize he gave that finger for all of us. And Bill Russell said it was just natural instinct to give Charles Barkley the finger. Oh, man. I couldn't agree more. I think that would be a natural instinct for many of us if we were to see Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley has taken selling out to a whole new level. And yes, that's why I showed you the previous pictures. He has surpassed slave level at this point. And it makes no sense. Y'all, you're just going to have to tell me what you think. I just can't believe he took it that far. But then again, we are talking about Charles Barkley. You know, we can't forget him being all dressed up as a woman, made an ugly woman, by the way, looking all big and burly in a dress and some wig. And, and now you saw him in chains, you know, but, you know, for him, those chains probably felt good. He probably was ready to be auctioned off in everything after those chains was on. I can just see Charles standing there saying, put me on the auction block. I'm ready. <laughs> but y'all, please tell me what you think about this one. It is a disgrace. I mean, we know we come across sellouts in our lives. And unfortunately, there's going to be many more sellouts coming in the mist. We don't want to see any of them, but we know they're there. Charles have no loyalty for the people that he came from. He has loyalty to anything that's outside of himself. Wow. You know, Charles, it doesn't matter what they're paying you. Those folks can turn on you too. And you got a despicable track record from your past. But all of a sudden, every time he talk, Charles act like he is just the voice of reason in the whole thing. And he's really not that at all. He smiles in your face. And all he wants to do is backstab you. Please leave your comment and subscribe. 
Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.